Okay, in this example, we're going to integrate x plus 4 divided by the square root of x. So let's go ahead and try to work through this one solution. So because we have a single term on the bottom, it's called a, a monomial, what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into two pieces. Also, I want to emphasize that the square root of x, we can think of this as x to the one half. Super useful to know. So let's go ahead and break it up. And at the same time, we're going to think of the square root of x as, this, as x to the one half. So it's going to be this over this. It'll be x over and then x to the one half. And then parentheses plus and then 4 over and again x to the 1 half just like that and then dx okay so just breaking it up it's x over the square root of x but that's really x to the 1 half plus 4 over the square root of x but that's really x to the 1 half all right there's really a 1 here so whenever you have something like this you basically subtract the exponents recall if you have say x to the m over x to the n, that's equal to x to the m minus n. So you basically just subtract here, so it's the integral sign. And we haven't integrated yet, right? So we still have to write the integral sign. We still have to write um, the dx. So 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. And then here what we'll do is we'll bring this upstairs. And when we do that, we get 4x. So the exponent will become negative. So it'll be negative 1 half. And we've done these things because we want everything to be x to a power so we can use the power rule. So now we're going to go ahead and integrate. This is equal to. And when we integrate, we drop the integral sign. We drop the dx. So we take this exponent here and we add 1 to it. So 1 half plus 1 is going to be 1 half plus 2 halves, so 3 halves. So this is x to the 3 halves. And then we're supposed to divide by 3 halves, but instead of dividing by 3 halves, we can always multiply by the reciprocal. So 2 thirds plus 4. I'm going to leave some room here. And then this is x. We add 1 to the negative 1 half, so that's 2 halves plus negative 1 half, so that's 1 half. And then dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2 over 1. And then plus our constant of integration, capital C. So this is equal to, let's see, 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. And then 2 times 4 is 8, so this is going to be 8 x to the 1 half plus our constant of integration, capital C. So just a quick recap. When we first saw the problem, when you see something like this, when you see a single term on the bottom like this, you should be thinking, hey, can I break this up? You know, is it, is it a possibility? Can I do that? Yes, yes you can. So it's this over this plus this over this. Square root of x is really x to the 1 half. So we did that. Here we just did some algebra. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. We brought this one upstairs, it became negative. At this point, everything is x to a power, and so we can actually apply the power rule. So we just basically add one to each of the exponents. One half plus one is really one half plus two halves, which is three halves. Then you're supposed to divide by three halves, but instead of dividing by three halves, we chose to multiply by the reciprocal, which is two thirds. Same thing here, we're supposed to divide by one half. Instead, we multiplied by the recipro reciprocal, which is two over one, and then just cleaned it up, two times four is eight and all is good.